English here and now. Let's get started with day two for the month of July. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Ceresi, and I'm Jenny Skidmore. Thanks for joining us. Okay, I have a very simple question. How many people are there in your family? Kotaite mite, dozo. Okay, Jenny, how many people are there in your family? We're a family of three. My husband and I and our daughter. Actually, we have a cat too. Okay, that was an easy question and an easy answer. The only thing that's difficult is saying it within the time limit. But if you practice together with us, you can do it. So, let's go into today's practice. Oh, and by the way, we have an announcement, right, Jenny? That's right. Today's an almost all English day. Hobo. All English de sumimas. But you know our format. I say something in Japanese, and you say something in English within the time limit. Okay, let's begin. Activate some basic phrases. SPR 1. Today we're practicing basic phrases, and this is an important one. Mirai no koto, yote no koto ego de hyogen suru. We'll use the phrase be going to. Be going to is very standard. It's used in many ways. Okay, let's practice six phrases with be going to. I'll say it in Japanese. You say it in English. And I'll say the answer after you. Let's go! Kono nimotsu o azukemasu. Go ahead. I'm gonna check this bag. For conversations, in most speaking situations, people say, I'm gonna plus a verb. I am going to check this bag is okay, but usually, I'm gonna check this bag is more natural. Okay, here's the next one. Kono nimotsu wa azukemasen. Try to use, I'm not gonna. Go ahead. I'm not gonna check this bag. Next, let's make a question. Kono nimotsu wa azukemasu ka? Go ahead. Are you gonna check this bag? Okay, let's make three more. Nagai aida rusu ni shimasu. For a long time o tsukatte? Go ahead. I'm going to be away for a long time. Remember that as a set for a long time. I'm going to be away long time. Yorimo, I'm going to be away for a long time. So let's use that in this next sentence. Nagai aida wa rusu ni shimasen. Go ahead. I'm not going to be away for a long time. Nagai aida rusu ni shimasu ka? Go ahead. Are you gonna be away for a long time? Okay, time's up. How did you do? Let's review some phrases. The main phrase is be going to. But when you use it in a sentence, the natural pronunciation becomes gonna. Now, that's not slang. Now, that's not too casual. That's a natural way of saying it. After that, we practice rusu ni suru, which you know as be away. Okay, let's practice these six phrases one last time. It's time for your honban. Do your best. Let's go! Kono nimotsu o azukemasu. Kono nimotsu wa azukemasen. この荷物は預けますか長い間、留守にします
、長い間は留守にしません。長い間留守にしますか ?OK, time's up.How was it?Alright, let's practice some more phrases. In our next time trial. Here we go. Activate some basic phrases. SPR 2. Next, let's practice some more questions in the future tense. Here are six questions. それぞれ疑問詞が入った文です。Are you ready? I'll say the answer after you, okay? Let's get started. いつ到着しますか When are you gonna arrive? どれくらい滞在しますか How long are you gonna stay? There are many ways to say this. How many days are you gonna stay? When are you gonna go back to Japan? Okay, here's the next question. Hawaii de nani o shimasu ka? Go ahead. What are you gonna do in Hawaii? Bus de iku no wa naze desu ka? Why are you. Go ahead. Why are you gonna go by bus? 他には誰が来ますか Try to use who else. Go ahead. Who else is gonna come? And finally, this question. どこで私を降ろしてくれますか Go ahead. Where are you gonna drop me off? Okay, those were six questions. How did you do? Maybe you know the phrase, go w h h. Five w's and one h, so we're mastering the future tense. So we made different questions that you might use when you travel. When, how long, what, why, who, where. Alright, now I want you to challenge yourself. I'm gonna shuffle the order. So listen to my Japanese and express that in English within the time limit. Okay, try to say these one more time, but Steve's gonna shuffle them up. Let's go! Okay, here's the first one. Hawaii de nani o shimasu ka? Go ahead. どれくらい滞在しますか。いつ到着しますか。他には誰が来ますか。どこで私を降ろしてくれますか。バスで行くのはなぜですか ?OK, time's up.Well, how was it?Today's basic phrase was a basic grammar point, expressing the future.If you're a beginner at speaking in English, I recommend you master the future tense and the past tense.Try to master those two. OK, good job today, everyone. This month's theme is Vacationing, vacationing in Hawaii. Hawaii. 楽しむ旅の英会話テキストには解説や日本語訳そして英会話に役立つ僕からのアドバイスも載っています。The more you practice, the better you'll get. See you next time on 英会話 Time Trial. Goodbye! Goodbye.